Right, let's see how bright this light does get. Wow. Hello again, everybody. Hope you're all well, and hopefully you have noticed a few slight improvements to the quality of this video going forwards. I have bought myself one of those wonderful fancy ring lights that all YouTubers seem to have, and yeah, it makes sense. They are actually really, really good, and hopefully I can combine that with my audio. And I'm filming this in 4K, so if you are one of the lucky people to have a 4K monitor, you can use that and really see all the blemishes that are on my face. Anyway, with regards to this video, it's going to be sort of a similar one to we did a few weeks ago, where on that one we went onto classic football shirts and we compared and found their top 10 highest current selling football shirts, and we just had a little look through and see what's going on. And I thought, why not do that for vintage football shirts, almost like a little brother two classic football shirts so don't expect there to be necessarily anything crazy there but maybe there is so what i've done is i pulled out 10 of their most expensive shirts now unlike classic football shirts there was a little bit of overlap with some teams so i've just literally done what i do typically for my ebay video and i've done one for each particular team or club and then we'll just see what's going on i think you'll there's some quite nice shirts here some stuff that we're not too familiar with uh, so let's just jump into it. In 10th place, we have this 1989-91 Soviet Union Adidas Home shirt. So like with the classic football shirts, they have uh, the general title detailing what the shirt is and then the image. And then they have like a little biography detail spec, which gives you a little bit more information about the shirt and about the period of time that it was worn. So let's just jump into the detailing of this one. So the condition is excellent. I will say I don't necessarily think that's too correct because you can barely make out the cccp uh text there but that's just me i don't know photographs it's never easy to tell so the size is large and they have condition details it says pristine color very smooth material badges and sponsor are excellent great example and it's an adidas shirt and the players they used were protosov zigmantovich zavarov and vasily rats and now the details for this one, it's a very rare home shirt with great standout design released for the 1990 World Cup when the Soviet Union were knocked out in the group stage of the competition, finishing bottom of their group behind Cameroon, Romania and Argentina. So for a very popular shirt design, didn't really do very much with it. So maybe if they would have ended up going a little bit further, could have been even more iconic, but um, it's one of those things. Anyway, with the price, we are in 10th place and we are at... 400 pounds so we're not quite into the grands yet but it's still a decent place it's still a lot of money a lot more money than i would be spending on a shirt next we have 2008 england versus france match issue umbra away shirt john terry we have jonathan terence here this is a wonderful shirt definitely right down my street anyway so let's look at the detailing shall we <clears throat> so Excellent condition, extra large sizing, big boy wasn't he, Tom Terry, we're in an extra large one. Condition details, pristine colour, very smooth material, badges and print are excellent, great example. Hmm, I think we might be seeing a little copy and paste section here. So player features, <coughs> correct size and style, plastic print, professional heat pressed to the front and reverse. France vs England, 26th of March 2008. Eight printed to upper front, given to French referee Bruno Fay, and comes from his personal collection. The shirt will be provided with a signed letter to verify this. So teammates, Rooney, Gerard, Beckham, Rio Ferdinand, and one of the calls, probably Ashley Cole in that instance. This is the away shirt believed to have been worn or by or issued to John Terry when England played France in an international friendly. The match finished 1-0 to France in what was Capello's first defeat in charge of England after Frank Rubri, recently retired, scored the only goal of the game from the penalty spot after 32 minutes. During his international career, John Terry made 78 caps for England, scoring eight times before announcing his retirement from international football in 2012. Damn, 10 years ago. It doesn't feel like that. That's a long time. He was winning Champions Leagues and also retiring from the international scene. That makes me old and I feel sad. How much, though, would it be if I wanted to buy this one? Also, £400. Not terrible. It's a little bit older now. 75 76 Saint Etienne Le Coq Sportif home shirt. Long sleeved, small sizing. So let's look at the further detailing, shall we? So it's a small 18.5 uh, inch 
armpit to armpit. It's a very good condition, this one. So it says pristine color, very smooth material, a few small holes to the right sleeve and a faint mark to left sleeve. Badge and sponsor are excellent. So it's Lecoq Sportif and the players were Sarmanga, Santini, Larke, Revelli and Piazza. The home shirt has worn during Saint Etienne's most successful period in their history, when Saint Etienne finished as champions of the French Division 1 for the third successive season and also made it to the final of the European Cup, losing 1 0 to Bayern Munich. Figures, with Franz Roth scoring the only goal of the game. Known as the Mayo AS Saint Etienne Manu France, in reference to the sponsor logo, the shirt was furnished by current and 1970s ASSE technical partner. Le Coq Sportif. I can only imagine this was written when they were um, with Le Coq Sportif. They are now with Hummel, so it's a little bit out of date, that one. Final price for this one, or is what they're asking for, should we say? £400. So that seems to be the commonality right now. Next we have the 91-93 Arsenal Adidas Away shirt in a medium slash large. It's the bruised banana, the one we all are very familiar with. So if you're not familiar with though. Let's read about it. Medium plus large, 40 to 42 inch chesting, pristine colour, very smooth material, slight fading to Arsenal badge, good. And sponsor, Adidas badge is excellent. So this had players of Limper, Rowcastle, Winterburn, Dixon Adams, and Wright. One of the most famous shirt designs of all time. Yeah. Known amongst the fans as the Bruised Banana, as one when Arsenal could only manage 4th and 10th place finishes in the 1st Division and Premier League respectively, but did manage to win a cup double in the 92-93 season, beating Sheffield Wednesday in both the FA and League Cup Finals. Wow, can you imagine a team losing both the FA Cup and League Cup Finals in one season? So, what does this one end up wanting to go for? They're asking for 400 pounds so there you go you've got a selection of if you've got 400 pounds you have a selection of shirts to choose from now we have the 8889 liverpool home adidas shirt mint minty fresh detail on this one is it's a large with a 102 to 107 centimeters chest and now they're using centimeters instead of inches pristine color very smooth material badges and sponsor are excellent great example adidas with Aldridge, Rush, Barnes, McMahon, and Staunton as the players you may associate with this shirt. It's the classic home shirt as worn when Liverpool failed to defend the first division title in dramatic circumstances. It was a long time they had to wait for the next one. Missing out on a uh, title on goal scored after the 91st minute goal from Michael Thomas on the last day of the season meant that Arsenal would go on to finish as champions. Also warm when Liverpool won the FA Cup, beating local rivals Everton 3-2 in the final, which I believe on the classic football shirts one, they had the Everton shirt from that game. But how much are they wanting for this one? It's £450. We have gone up a little bit in value there. It does look in pretty good nick there, so that's totally fine. Next, we have a little bit of continental action. It's 97, 98, Barcelona, Kappa, match issue, home shirt with uh, long sleeves, number 12, Small in size. Let's look at the detailing, shall we? So this is pristine color, very smooth material, badges, an excellent blah, blah, blah. Great example. Kappa, long sleeve, correct player, size 12, professionally uh, screen printed, embroidered crest and Kappa logo machine stitched rather than fully embroidered, not commercially available to this specification. Players you may have familiarize with it was Figo, Clivert, Luis Enrique, Rivaldo, and apparently Rafael Nadal played a bit of sports before he, a uh, bit of football, should we say, before he played tennis. Home shirt believed to have been issued or worn by number 12 when Barcelona won a domestic double under Louis van Gaal, finishing nine points clear of the second place Athletic Bilbao Athletic Club in La Liga and beating Mallorca 5-4 on penalties in the Copa del Rey final after the tie finished one all in extra time. So, how much are they wanting for this very, very popular styled? I'm not, much, I'm not a huge fan of the styling of this one. A lot of home shirts of Barcelona are mm, it's just not my favorite color combination. However, if you do like it, you'll be paying £498, so just less than 500 Next up, we have a 1989 Spain Match 1 home shirt, which is a long sleeve and has the number two one, Chendo. And it was worn versus Northern Ireland. Extra large. Let's look at the further details. So, extra large, 23-inch armpit, armpit sizing, pristine colour, blah, 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 the cock spotif. Correct size and style, plastic print number two to reverse, fully embroidered badges, long sleeve version, not commercially available. So, the players you may be familiarised with it, Butrigano, Salinas, uh, Michel and Sanchez. 
extremely rare home shirt believed to have been worn by Spanish right back Chendo during the sides clash against Northern Ireland in the 1990 World Cup qualifiers. Goals from Andre Neuer and Manolo handed Spain the win as they maintained their perfect start to the qualification campaign qualification campaign. Chendo started the game at fullback but was replaced before halftime after picking up an injury. The shirt was acquired from the personal collection of the former Northern Ireland player Kingsley Black. A signed letter will be provided verifying this. I will actually say that this shirt is really nice. Quite like it. Not a huge fan of long sleeve as you know but just it's quite a simple design. And if I wanted to buy it I'd have to pay £498 for it. Now we have Manchester United, of course we have Manchester United, it's the 99-2000 Manchester United home shirt, Umbro Champions League, and it's the Champions League winner's shirt, sorry to say, with a little uh, detailing there, with tags, with tags, extra large in size, further detailing, we have a brand new example with Umbro tags attached, yes of course, players you may be familiar with, Sheringham, Solskjaer, Giggs, Beckham, Owen. Home shirt has won when, the, when Manchester United made it all the way to the 1999 Champions League final. However, they'll fail behind early after a Mario Basler scored in the 6th minute with Paul Scholes and Roy Keane being suspended for the game. Manchester United managed to come back in the match though with goal scoring from Teddy Sheringham and of course Solskjaer in added time meaning that Manchester United would become champions of Europe. So how about that? Eh? Quite a popular and iconic moment there. Now then. We have the final price of £500. So we've just got over that little threshold there, £500. Next up we have Spurs, Le Coq Sportif Centenary Home Shirt, brand new in bag and it's medium. Let's have a look at the details. So, a brand new example in original bag, no tags attached. Maybe they didn't attach tags in those days. Who knows? Anyway, it's the centenary year from 1882 to 1982, embroidered around the club crest, with players such as Crooks, Archibald, Ideas, Hoddle and Hazard. Not the good Hazard, but the other Hazard. Extremely rare and vintage home shirt with special centenary year, AD 82 to 1982, embroidered around the club badge, as worn when Tottenham finished fourth in the first division and made it to the second round of the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup, losing 5-2 on aggregate against by Munich, of course, very collectible. Well, it's in very good condition. It's done well to last all this time, 40 years. And they're asking for £550. I suppose if you're a Spurs fan, why not? But we are at the top, the pinnacle. Here we go. It's 92 Argentina, Adidas match issue, home shirt, Kenya, number 14. It's medium. And most importantly, it was won against Wales. Details. Medium, 20 inch. Pristine colour, very smooth materials, badges and uh, are excellent. Adidas. Correct size and style, felt print professionally, heat pressed to reverse, machine stitched Argentina badge, made in Argentina, 52% polyester, 48% cotton. Canizia, Maradona. Sencini, Lorenzo and Simon. Extremely rare home shirt believed to have been worn by Diego Cania during a fixture against Wales as the two sides completed in the in the Kirin Cup. The games were played at the Gifu Nagaragawa Stadium in Japan on the 3rd of June 1992 with Kanya playing the full 90 minutes. A single goal from Batugol was enough to win the game for Argentina. The shirt was acquired from the personal collection of former Wales international Mark Bowen. But what are they expecting for you to pay on their most valuable shirt currently on their website they're asking for £650 there, so we're not quite near the crazy end of classic football shirts of a grand, two grand. £650. Seems more reasonable when you compare it against them, but are these shirts less? I don't know. I suppose that's everybody's opinion. For some people, these would be great shirts. For some people, maybe like me, not the most. Uh, sort of a pressing shirt that I'd want to add. But that is it. Those are 10 shirts that you can at least right now buy on vintage football shirts if you so wish. Christmas is right around the corner. Black Friday, right around the corner. Sometimes vintage football shirts do a discount on there. But if not, um, yeah, you're paying full price probably. So yeah, those are the 10. Let me know which of the 10 do you like. Which of those 10 do you think are overvalued? Like I say, when it comes to matches, you stuff. I don't really know. I'm not your guy. I'm just going to facilitate you with the shirts and you can make your own opinions. The odds of us buying one of these are probably rather slim anyway, aren't they? Anyway, that is the end of this video. I have a backlog, as I mentioned, some really cool shirts. Hopefully, 
this sort of setup works. I am filming in an evening, which is something I could never usually do because usually when you use the artificial light, it's just rubbish. And if you try and film during the day, even now as we're heading in from autumn to winter, it's just really bad anyway. So hopefully this is better, makes me a little bit more keen to do the videos at whatever time. Don't feel like I'm rushing around trying to fit it into a specific time frame. So guys, please have a great week. I'll see you on Friday where I'm going to be opening up a shirt for you. And I hope it's going to be one that you're going to enjoy because I think it's pretty cool. Goodbye.